coming from the NBA, the expectations of going to Europe. When you go to Europe from the NBA, they just expect a lot out of you. For girls that's going overseas, like, mentally you have to be a little bit more tougher than you are in the States and find something that you enjoy. For me, I start bringing my video game everywhere. <laughs> I take care of a lot of people. So I'm over here doing this grind by myself. I just see my, my bank just minus, 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 minus. We kind of use each other to lean on, like, especially during the holidays, because we all are sacrificing something. We are traveling abroad, playing basketball for our family or to better our future. You know, it's kind of like a brotherhood because um, we don't really speak the language to each other. I think they understand a lot more now. And they think, um, they see, you know, me and Marshawn, we're trying to um, incorporate ourselves in their culture and they're trying to incorporate themselves in our culture. It's pretty amazing, man, because I'm like, I'm like one of the older guys on the team. And they look at me, you know, like a, a, a big brother to them. And the game of basketball speaks a universal language. There are a lot of conversations about athletes out and again, mental health, career transition, other like, but it's cut short because the conversation doesn't extend to include these athletes that are playing abroad. And that's on the men's and women's side, you know, very important to include all athletes in that conversation. pick come around, Chicago pulls, select Sonny wins, and all I hear in the background, everybody's just going, but now it's everybody going crazy, my mom, so my dad busts in the room, he's like, it don't matter where you go, it's matter where you end up. 